you allowed your state so will to be raided vandalized burnt destroyed for 24 hours and now you roam around you roam around saying sorry everything will be developed everything will be built again what do we call that medicine after death you allowed the same people you guys go to to collect tax the same people that have been paying for that same toll gate the same people who are trying to build a better Nigeria you allowed your hoodlums to destroy their properties, casting away millions and millions of properties, destroying home, burning down properties. You allowed it, Son Olu. And then you long one you being you. you. Yesterday, I tried to make people laugh. I tried to laugh. I tried to. But, oh, more man, it wasn't working. I had mixed feelings after listening to that. <laughs> uh, to that impersonator, you know, in Abuja delivering his speech. Because I want to believe that was not our president. Because I could not see any sign of empathy he talked about the Oba palace but he didn't talk about the massacre he didn't talk about the innocent lives that died it is not okay and it cannot be okay it is not okay and it can never be okay And you guys took lives, but you did not take. You did not take the truth. You took lives, but you did not take that voice. Because I tell you, you cannot kill all the youths. It is not possible. We all will die one day. So, what happened to the security, to the same army? You called a curfew and what happened? Why did you allow hoodlums roam the street, destroy lives and properties? Where were the securities? Where were the same army people? And I see you this morning on TV, roaming around, going to visit places that had burnt down. You're going to see police stations that were burnt. That you people allowed. We are not stupid anymore. We are not stupid. And we will not be silenced. We will continue to air our voice. And we will continue to stand our grounds. Ah, long ball. Nigerian youths, I want to beg you. I want to beg you. I want to beg you. They have tried. 
their possible best to cause commotion and chaos, you know, so that we will back down. And I want to beg you. This, mm -hmm. this is just the beginning. 2023, it should be our target. We need to start right now. The youths, you need to have a leader. You need to form your own group. You need to have your own thing. You, ha you need to register your own party or join a party. Look for one of those uh, parties that don't really have any name that is registered, that, you know, that has the right and everything to vote. We need to start learning politics. We need to start having our own voice, your own voice, because when the youths come out, we will back you up. We are no longer asleep. Oh. I have one I have once campaigned for uh, uh, PDP during the time of good luck, Jonathan. This song, Olu, I supported him, thinking he was a young man and he would do better. But you see, one thing I have noticed about this party is that even if you are good, once you join that party, there is no way. Oh. There is no way. Oh. It's like a cult, yo. Oh. You cannot be good, yo. Oh. APC and PDP is not it all. The youth, we are more. You are more. You know when I say we, that means we that are supporting the youth. We are more than these people. Oh. Those of you educated ones that live among these hoodlums. You need to start talking to them in the language that they will understand. We need to start educating these hoodlums. The way they go to them to preach to them that don't worry, vote for us. We will do this for you. We will do that for you. We also need to start that. We need to start changing their mindset. That is show for Kiri. We need to start talking to them because among those hoodlums, I'm sure there are one or two educated, enlightened youths among them, you know, using social media or something. You know, I, we need to start letting them understand that the way forward is not by coming to destroy election, casting away ballot boxes and all that. We need to start educating these people. That's the only way we can take Nigeria. It's not about the educated ones, the elite ones coming together. It's about you, the educated youth, coming down to their level. Speaking and educating them. Let them understand that this fight is not for we alone. It is for all of us and our children yet unborn. We need to get to the grassroots, go to the hoods, and speak to them. Some of them would listen. Not all of them. But if we can draw at least half of them to our side, it will help. Social media. Pay a wa. 
Come on, Parawa. Come on, she buy. Oh, people, yo, Nico, call out a fool. Why they walk me five thousand, lay low or ten thousand? Why be bolay long, why you can't mark Parai? Lay a lesson ye to bat wallet to after from Bogwa do marry. Eh, my dear. Ah, mon mon yi ama ajie. Wa tu se se tu wa mu yi wa gbe lo police se wa ti yin mo le wa pa yin sibe. The hoodlums they need to be educated. Not education pe ko lo school o. We need to speak the truth to them. We need to understand that enough of them selling their future. For peanuts. Because at the end of the day, majority of them are the ones in um, prison. No? That's why they are trying to break all these um, prisons. Majority of them, they will use them. After they're done using them, they will kill some of them. Some of them, they will take them, throw them in prison, use them to replace lives. Of people that have money to build them. A lot of rubbish is going on. We need to educate these hoodlums. Because they do not know better. They are used to... Ah, wala do ye eja lo, ja eja lo, pa eja lo, ko eja lo, she eja lo mo. Because that's the life they've been... They've been brought up to understand. A lot of you youths out there who still live in the ghetto or have some connections with the ghetto, you have a lot of work to do. This country, this Nigeria, <laughs> We have been crying for 12 days or 13 days now. We want a new Nigeria. We want a new government. We, want a... we cannot achieve it if we do not go to the grassroots. If we do not make them understand that this fight, We need to form. It might be hard. They might not allow the youth to register a party. They will bring up a lot of allegations, a lot of rubbish. But there are some parties that are not that strong. I don't know. I know Banky W belongs to one party. I, I can't remember the name of the party. But there are some parties that are not that strong. That we, the youth, that the youth can. When I say we, I'm saying we that are supporting the youth and the youth at large. Are you understanding me? Because there are some old ones that are older than me that we understand. Now we are ready. Oh, yeah, you be Amy or Kawaju. Me, you're wala. Me, you understand? In one bad need to more, more. But we are ready to lend our voice and we are ready to support. Me, my daru call, but at least I have seen some youth, some potentials in some youths. Allow yourselves. Just like these old ones, they share it now. Okay, you go and rule for four years. Okay, you rule for eight years. Okay, you. And after four years, and you're not doing our own. Yeah, come out. So, yeah, you go. Let us allow our youth. Let them go there and make their own mistakes. Oh. Nigeria, you lay down. Tabanja, no social media, Nikon. You need to strategize. Have your own plans. Start from the 
I'm telling you, to buy the bank it up, you load bit, load it the lola, to load fellow, eh, support, yeah, eh, long parts, yeah. Boba day, eh, fast the bad by guy, eh, the day, eh, join, eh. Stop condemning the youth as hell. This one is going to get it for his own pocket. This one, let him go there and make his mistake. But he is a youth. He will listen to you. He will understand your plight and your pains. Do not let those who died. Those who died on that night. Do not let their blood be in vain. Do not. Do not. This death, we go die and at once we go down, we know down twice. Now once so. Oh. Hmm. We may laugh and joke on social media because everybody was trying to calm their sanity yesterday. The shock where they give us is shock us so. Oh. Our governor so oh, who started with the shock. No casualty, no death. Are we blind? Did we not see? Thank God for that female DJ who went live. It was like she was in Sahara Desert, the fighting with the Boko Haram. That is how I was imagining it. Blood everywhere. And yet they tell us there was no casualty. They capitalize on some fake rumors that went out. Yes, if you don't so, Toro, I won't come out my story, Buru Koro. But does that mean Paco King Show Toro? Am I making sense? It's shocking, so. And like that shock ever reach. The military officer who came out and said it was photoshopped. <sighs> photoshopped. Oh girl officer. We see they try digest that one. We call the shots our president to oh, come and speak, come and speak, come and speak. That will just gonna give us final shocker. Thirty thousand naira will be deployed to how many people? <laughs> Among how many people? Nothing about the massacre. Nothing about the toll gates. But he remember to talk about the order of Lagos. Ah. Youths, initial at the show. Initial at the show. Youths, don't come and tell me. Eh, hey, mama, you are the one that has the fan, uh, you have the page. You are the one that have the fan page. Ah, oh yeah, you have to. No! It starts from you! It starts from you. It starts from me. It starts from all of us. All of us has a part to play. Oh. Whether you have one, one follower, you have zero follower. All of us, we have a part to play. You need to start educating the hoodlums in your area. You need to start forming your own strength by joining a party and join out your own plans. Even if they don't give us presidency at the end of the day, let us have it that most of our youth occupy important places. Look at those brave um, show, um, soldiers. I think one or two of them that came out to say, I do not support this. My brethren, don't let us kill our fellow people. This is what I'm talking about. We have youth among all these places.
let us use our voice. Let us come together. 2023 is the weapon, no? And the only way we can have that weapon is if we come together as one. Any youth that wants to come out for any political whatever, as long as it's not under APC or PDP, support them. We need to be in the corridor of power. We need to be among them so that the majority will flush out the bad ones. And that is the fact. Those who died because of all this, lost their properties because of all this, it must not go in vain. Yes, we will go back to our normal jokes, posting, slaying, and all that. But let us have it at the back of our mind. If we could come back in our, come out in our thousands and in our hundreds, without the government supporting the protest and was able to hold down for ten days. Before the massacre, it shows that we have strength to hold down this country come 2023. Let it begin with you. Let your brother say, ah, let your kilo sombe. Let it be between you. They say, ah, brother, me, could they worry bell? Oh, yeah, why Jack and shall I eat cocoa for you? She mo pe ti a ba ja fun ara wa leni ti Nigeria ba da lola she mo pe re mi ti mo juko si bi bayi mo ma la nfan ni lati ni education to da mo ma le ewo ru ya wa to nji ya yen te mo pe ta ba ta ba ja fun awon youth she mo pe un a ma le ni anfan ni lati le ri owo lati le fun ya wa to to ma fi ni business to da bi to ma lo fi ni simi ta no ma fi se nkan to da se pe ya wa ko je ko je ki ya wa se ma takara mo ko je ki ya wa se ma to mi mo let speak to these people they are not animals they do not understand. What if I use my jacket? Did you go back? 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 Oh, they leo ya ibe bon ya ekpara oh ya jale oh ya jashe oh ya. This life they were taught and they are used to. It starts with you and me. It starts with you and me. Let it start with you. Even if we cannot win them all over, at least let's try to pull some of them to our side. So that on the day of election, when they want to send the, the ones that probably want to dot our that's what double boy rule. We will have the ones that we have drawn to our side. Stand and say, like yeah, debbie, eh, le dile iru. Am I making sense? It starts with you and myself. And you see, see, Emma Momo, and you are Buro, you are Kuni We all have them around us. When we were doing this protest. I called my security guys. I said, you know what? And my workers, we are all going to support the protest. We are cooking, we are going there. I had to explain to them why, the need for it. Do you want to be a security man forever? Do you know that if this country is better and my business is booming, you are not supposed to be earning 40,000. You should be earning like 150,000. He said, yes, madam. If this country is better, and we can afford to do great business and make good money and there's electricity that we don't have to waste all the money on diesel we don't have to we don't have to waste the uh, money on buying a recharge card for electricity we don't have to pay all these unnecessary taxes that we do not understand do you know that it will be much in fact in in abroad i told them do you know handy people they make more money than the educated ones do you know how much a painter in, 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 in America, in London, makes a furniture guy, a mechanic? 
They make money. Because the economy is good. He said, yes, madam. I said, yeah, take the shirts. Let's go. And they followed. Because I spoke to them. Because I educated them on the reason and on the need for them to join this protest. So that's what I'm asking you to do. To all of you who have security people, you have drivers. You are, your drivers, they, they have people. Educate them so they will go back and educate the other ones. When I educated my security people at the place of work, the same uh, um, guys went to talk to the Awus and uh, the Awusa guys in front of us to tell them, come, my dad said this, my dad said that, oh yeah, help us, carry, let's go. And they carried, I was surprised when I saw them carry the things down to the, to the, uh, to the, to, to Lekito to Gate there. Helping in sharing food and drinks. And I was so happy. But if I had not spoken to them, they would not understand what we are doing. So we need to educate these people. Because if we do not educate them, oh. they will come back and they will destroy our plan. Because you know why? Those ones will use them against us. Yeah. I'm a how are you? Hi. Fine, fine. I'm all right. You've been uh, just alive and I, I learned some few things you actually said. And I really appreciate your move towards our youth. But the question mm -hmm. I really want to ask is, um, like, after this, after this coffee, which the government has made, like, what's, what's next? Like, are we still going out for the protests? Because I really don't understand. Because um, when the, before the coffee, some will do at least, he, he, he said 4 p.m. was the coffee. I expected celebrities and the youth, which we are, there to keep up with the protest. Because I knew that that's how the government are. You know, one thing about Nigerians, you know, now, in command, they sure. And the government, the government have seen that in us. They've seen that, okay, Tabati lay coffee, Tabati lost lay, Tabati only for three days, four days. Everybody will later think that, oh, they can free a they can move on to my normal or so and all. You understand? It has killed that spirit. That spirit that we're fighting for. That's why I keep on asking people. I was asking one of my friends around my estate here. I was asking him that. Do you know it will be difficult for them to move up with this reform after the coffee? That the, the, the mistake we just did, it's a good move, you understand? We, youth, we know what we're fighting for, you understand? End SARS, end police brutality and all. But we shouldn't have left that position that we are. Because they were trying hard to like, Honliwa, Kugu. You know, I know, I know that we're, we're kind of running away for our lives and all, but with all this now, it will be difficult. I don't think is I don't think I don't know what's next. I don't know what files, what um, what plan files has and other people that are on this protest. You understand? After this coffee, but I don't all think right. people will have the mind again to come out after this coffee to protest to use that ginger again to protest. Okay. Because this um, thing, yeah, yeah, I get points, Timon. So I get your point, and I want to answer your yes. point. You understand? Yes. Number one, I want you to understand that we are not criminals. Yes. We are not evil-minded people like these people, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We all came out as peaceful protesters. Forget all those who went to fight and kill and destroy. Those ones were never yeah. part of the protest. You understand? They yeah. were not part of the protesters, right? Those were hoodlums mm -hmm. who were hired. Some of them were hired, and some of them took advantage of the protest to do yeah. whatever they did. Now, you need to understand that as that when they call for the curfew, the people should stay indoor. A lot of youths still did not obey. Making sense to you? I can't. 
you can hear you hello are you are you listening yeah, to me yes yeah, i can listen that was why they planned what they did and okay. in the heat eh or when you blood everywhere we have we are humans we have empathy the first thing yeah. that you would want to do is like you sit in there now you hear god shots there's no way you will not move right yeah you see one of your person go down beside you there's no way you would not want to save that person on or help that person so the first thing they did was to cause commotion and chaos among the youth that were out there yeah. Yeah. and the second thing they had to do was send out the whole lump to destroy lives and property yeah. now it's going to take a while for us to heal mm. but when i say we are not backing down it's not by marching on the streets they said they have mm. they should bring to representative they are going to do this and they are going to do that now the representatives that this youth are putting down to follow everything to the letter if they refuse to implement all the things they have promised that they will do which we know that some of them they would not do then we have a right to come out again and to continue the protest but for now a lot of properties has been destroyed mm. Mm. A lot of homes so, are crying. Okay. A mother who has lost a son, you cannot tell her or yeah. a daughter to allow her, she will allow her other children or the families will allow their other children to go out there and die. That's actually true. But that does not mean that we are done with this fight. It doesn't mean that our voice is not going to still scream out and say, we want change. It doesn't mean that those that they have assigned to come and represent the youth will not go out there and come back and give us reports. Because and that's why it said yeah. that yeah. in this moment, but, in this yeah. moment, yeah, that people are have you in this moment that a lot of homes have been destroyed. A lot of shops have been destroyed. A lot of businesses have been destroyed. A lot of people are jobless right now. Which the government allowed. That's true, that's true. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not making myself clear. Which the government yeah, yeah, allowed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, so I understand that. So as people try to heal, as people try to get back yeah. on their feet, when the protest started, when people started donating, a lot of people that are donating are people, are youth who have businesses, they do, you know, who were able to support the protest, who were able... Now, what do you make of those people that have lost their properties and lost a lot of things, which, you know, it was... <laughs> oh, it was all planned out, my brother. That's exactly the point I was trying to... You understand? It has not I was ended. On, I was just on YC's life now. The protest now, has YC. not ended, my brother. Yeah. The movement yeah. of we going out there may have um, been, been, uh, been put on hold for now. Because we have to empathize with a lot of properties that have been destroyed, with a lot mm -hmm. of people that have lost their loved ones, with a lot of people that have been traumatized from gunshots. You know, we are stronger than each other. What you can take, I might not be able to take it. That's very true. Some That's people right true. now, they have nightmares just by witnessing what happened. We are traumatized. Not talk of people that were there, that witnessed it. Yes. As these people here, we need to still keep pushing. And how do we push? They said they are they are they are having a kilo lunch. You know, when I organize the our concern, right? They yeah. asked us to bring our representatives, so I expect them files and all of oh, them to come together and provide these representatives to go far, and believe that, that this thing, representative that will that come thing. back to give us whatever yeah. thing that is going on there. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly the point, exactly the point. Because, because right? so uh, now we need to now hold them. We need to now hold them when they refuse to meet all these demands and use it as a weapon for us to lash out again. Am I making myself clear? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I say change. Well, I'm after one change. Okay, so now we need the result. We need to see the change. So let us see that change first. Because because I don't know if yesterday, I'm making sense. you are really making sense, man. Because, because when I said one thing, I said I said one thing again. Yeah. My brother, what area? Where? What area do you live in? I stay in Ikorodu. You stay in Ikorodu. Thank you. God bless you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you know a lot of all these area boys in Ikorodu there. Yeah. I'm a young woman. I dated a brother. Thank you. Now, what I'm saying is that those of you on social media, it mm. is your duty and your responsibility to find ways in which you have to start educating these people. You have to start making them understand that our bros are makoto shelle. Our youth are not to take over, Louis. Are not to shed that. I want to go to Bubala Kawe, go to Bubala Male. Boss, it's a tamale. So far, I have a, I have a the president, I have a the governor. But I want to know what I'm going to do. I'm going to judge the law. It's just a support you all. You do the bad. I'm going to roll out of a phone. 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 i am going to let us use this time that we have now to also educate the ones in our area that, are, that we call the hoodlums. That, that's true. If we can find way, Kokisheja, if we can find a 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 way, Kokisheja, if we to my ah, what are they? Why no cut on so yo? But as we don't understand. Yeah, because you know, you know, what in America, you know, when they when they stood up for Black Lives Matter, you know, they stood their ground. You know, they stood their ground. African they were like even despite friend. despite the shootings and all, they still stood their ground. And then it's not, they were nobody was when, shot when directly. When President was making his speech, nobody you know, was shot Barry directly. Made speech yesterday. Wait, wait. Make nobody speech. was shot directly. You know. Hello, listen, we should stop comparing Nigeria yes. to America. <laughs> Are you listening to me? Nobody well, was well, shot. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. Nobody yeah, was. Okay, listen okay. to me. Listen to me. Yes. They stood their grounds, right? Because they know yes. that the law favors them. Are you understanding me? They know that yes. they have a system that works for them. Are you listening to me? No yes. president will come out in America after two days of massacre. It will not happen in America. What happened in Nigeria on the twentieth of October two thousand and twenty can never happen in America. Definitely. Are you understanding me? Nigeria, ye. no military officer will come out and say it was photoshopped. But, America but is different from Nigeria. Definitely, definitely. America you know, is different from Nigeria. We should stop comparing. That, that's, that's the, you know that's the that's the that's the that's the. That's the bridge that people are trying to like, you know, the move, the move. Some people are like, okay, we have to, we have to call on Beyonce, we have to call on this, we have to call on that, that. Like, will they come back their plans? Will they carry their the death away? Will their governor come out to say that there was no casualty? Will they allow hoodlums uh, to vandalize for twenty-four hours? But the, but the issue. We should stop yeah, you're making yourself clear. Anybody back me, you? We should stop comparing. Yeah, definitely. You know, you know. Actually, yesterday when when Baba spoke out, you understand. I learned some few things. I learned that Nigeria, ah, eh, uh, we, we are not even we are not even ready for this fight because yesterday, as of that yesterday, when he casted his own news and he said everything. A lot of people online, on social media and all, they were like, Mudati Jakpa, Mudati Mdolo. You Jakpa. You are living Nigeria and you want to change Nigeria. You understand? It doesn't make sense. Outside, I traveled. I traveled. I went to Malaysia for my master's. 
understand Mukpada, Sishel. I have to do like a, a business. I have to like improvise, like entrepreneur and all to do stuff. You get, ma'am. But overseas, there, there's no place like home. You get, there's no place. Overseas, there, they're racist. Heard in this world, in this have you ever heard in, in America or London where they are having a protest that the whole they will take off the camera and then the whole lights will go off? That's the thing. That's the thing. So why are you like, comparing Nigeria to America? Am I not compare that's, more? That's, or anywhere in the like, world, do not like, compare like, Africa to any developed country. Developed country. That is why we are underdeveloped. Yeah, yeah. People are like, I want to leave out. At the end of the day, to leave out. are you the understanding the me? Yeah, they will feel inferior. You can't, you can't be in another man's land and feel free. The freedom is not like, yeah, you get. You have to, we have to stand there and change the nation. That's it. A lot of people that came out from the protest, I know a lot of people that came out from the protest yesterday, after the announcement that I made, I know they were like, my first flight, I have to change it. So what are you fighting for? First flight, on to Japan. Eh? Into a paper, Buhari Tissot. Who don't find Buhari Tissot here? Buhari Madlona, after like three, like, Turn 20 on my door, my cool bear. Our need can fight. YDP. The first thing we have to create is a party. We have to create a party. You understand? Register it. I want files, but we combine. You don't need to come make move. Then from there, we know that we are. My brother, I need to allow other people to come live. You understand? I need to allow people want to come live and talk. I need to allow. I need to allow. But at least now you understand exactly what I'm trying to say. And I hope I have been able to answer your question. You understand? Definitely, so definitely. may God help us and heal Nigeria. Please do not forget in your area the youths there. You two can gather. You understand and try and talk to all yeah. those people in your area. We have to start educating. You know these people on the streets that do not understand the same language that we are speaking, and we have to bring them close to ourselves to make them understand that enough is enough. Definitely. When we are because if we do enough not do enough. that, yeah. 2023, when we try to go and cast our vote, these same old fools will send them out to come and destroy our vote and steal away our ballot papers and all that. You understand? Yeah. God bless yeah. you. Bless you, my brother. Definitely. God bless you too. Yeah. It is well. It is well. It is well. Good Hello, how are you? I'm fine, ma. Ah, I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, ma? Hello? Can you hear me? Wow. Yeah, I can hear you a little, but I can't really hear you that much. Oh, he left. It's really sad. 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 The situation that we have found ourselves, it's really, really sad, honestly. It's really sad. But we can do this. We just need to keep educating ourselves. We just need to keep you know like I, I don't know whether to cry to laugh I don't even know how I feel you know like I'm so overwhelmed by everything it is really really sad 
in my 42 years, going to 43 years on earth, I never knew that such a thing would ever happen. Honestly. I never knew. <laughs> Good Hello, Sean. Good morning. Man. How are you today? How are you? I'm very well. I don't. I don't even know where people get the strength to make memes or to laugh. I can't even. Laugh. I'm, I'm serious. Like, it's, there's nothing funny. There's nothing funny about this situation. You see, I am so heartbroken because I thought this was a fight we were willing to go all the way to fight, but. Again, the government has demonstrated that they know what holds the people down and they would always use that weapon. I think the now, first nobody, mistake no, no, nobody, saw, nobody saw all this coming. You can hear me yes. clearly, right? We knew that they probably might send out hoodlums, but nobody knew that this, it, would go to, it would get this bad that, you know, when hoodlums started uh, destroying police stations and government properties, we were thinking, okay, you know. <laughs> but, you know, when they turned around and started destroying um, private properties, nobody knew. Do you want me to be honest with you? I knew it was only one way. We were walking on a one-way road, sis. This, we cannot live in denial as Nigerians. Anybody that thought about it through knew there was only one way. That protest, from the moment we stepped out, they started shooting us before they pulled the trigger. Because they were never, ever going to give... You see, you don't know why they, we will never get into government. Because there was so much corruption. They killed the government so much that if people ever find out what they've done, the world is going to go crazy. They've looted the country blind. They've killed the country. They've committed so many atrocities. It is not an option to give the youth power. It is not. The people that have that, let me tell you why celebrities in court, people go like, oh, celebrities, why don't you speak for us before this protest? You see why celebrities don't speak? This is the reason. A celebrity will put himself or herself out there, show his face or her face to the world, confront tyrannical government, and at some point people will get tired and back out. Now you're on your own. You're on your own. We didn't have plans to see this through. And the mistake we made from the start was going out without a plan. The usefulness in us came to play. We didn't have a clear-cut plan. We didn't have leadership. People, we needed the leader. Not somebody to lead us, but we needed a representation and a strategic person to say, okay, we're going out now, this is what's going to happen. There is no way in the world where there will be protests and there will not be looting. We would have thought about all that and known what to do. Even in America, there was mass looting during the Black Lives Matter protest. All the people that died, what have they died for now? Another 20 years of suffering? Another 40 years of suffering? They're never going to give us our country. They never, ever, ever. If anybody, we will take this me, country back. We will. We have to take it back. People are telling me 2023 elections. They will bring soldiers and shoot people and steal ballot boxes. It is their playbook. They will never, ever. Never, ever. They will shoot. If you're waiting, waiting for 2023, it's not going to come. It's not going to happen. We need a clear plan and a strategy. We need clear demands. Stance is not what we're asking for. We need people to be fired. We need heads to roll. We need replacement of government. Honestly, that's the only way forward. Except, how can people be joking that they want to run away from a country? Our country. How can? If we back down now, this is going to happen for another hundred... Listen, I'm telling you, literally... No, Nigeria no, no. I, um, I think what happened yesterday was... A lot of people were in shock by what he said, because I was in shock. Mm. And people saying they wanted to run away was just a way of trying to just, you know, ease off whatever it is that was going, because everybody was running Googles yesterday. I don't mm. think nobody's trying to. A lot of us in Nigeria, we have invested so much. I know. I joked it too. Great. I said, oh, I'm on my way to UK. I'm in UK. Was I in UK? No. Oh yeah, you see, surely you take over to a in your law. Is I the former Wodobai? 
abi koko ma rerin to le ni talk ta omo e to je pe o je rerin o je nte dem ko mi ba ju adare o lo ngba mi e ri re o ma fi paje e because not everybody has the capacity or capability to take a lot of things that were thrown at us from on the tent till now Mm. Mm. in america a lot no. of youth today give or take if they have that opportunity they will be there mm. i know because nothing is working in nigeria nothing absolutely nothing so you <laughs> cannot blame people for taking out few minutes of their time to play around or joke around because we needed it do you know why people in the i need it to laugh Do you know why people in diaspora are more? Because after I laughed a bit yesterday, I went to sleep. I have not slept since on the tenth. I had to sleep a bit yesterday night. Do you know why we in the diaspora are more? But that does not mean that our voice is dead, and that does not mean that we are not going to keep, you know, strategizing. Do you know why we in the diaspora are upset, and it looks like we are even more upset than the people in Nigeria? You know why? Because we see what's obtainable in the world. I can't hear you, but I don't. I I don't know if the people can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can, can only hear you when I put the phone very close to my ears. Shall I call call back in? No, I'm listening. Yeah, we see what is obtainable in the world and what can be achieved. We see the kind of suffering Nigerians are going through, and it's not needed. Whatever we're going through in Nigeria is not necessary. Look at how somebody stored food in a warehouse in a country where people are starving like that. Yeah. This is a wicked government. Wicked people don't do good things. Nothing good can come out of anything they say to us. I never expected anything from the president yesterday. I don't know why people are surprised. Look at the, Look at your governor checking out everything that was destroyed. This where were they 24 hours this happened. Was it not on where were they? Peaceful protesters they could bring out a uh, they could bring out uh, armies to come and kill innocent children. Where were they when all this wars was happening? Uh, where were all the armies? Why shot. did they not kill all the ones that were destroying all these places? But they could go at night. Nino okoko. Now we must talk the flag in Nigeria mu. See what I told you, but don't you can have an item. Do you know Nigeria I also believed in that shit? Nigeria I believed oh country. with the national flag and they think the national anthem, nothing was going to happen to them. I actually did believe that shit. Be before I go, let me just tell you something very important and very profound. Nigeria is not a real country. Honestly, Nigeria is just a landmass of people roaming around aimlessly. Nigeria does not belong to you, sis. It doesn't belong to me. Nigeria belongs to a set of people, and those set of people will never give us our country back. They will never. This is what they want to do. They allowed all this rubbish to happen, so that they will use this as a reason why we can no longer hold the protest. They allowed it. They have the billions of naira to repair everything, so they allowed all this to happen. They allowed the hoodlums to take over, to take charge, to destroy as many properties, so that they will use that to say, you know what? This is the reason why you guys can no longer protest because the hoodlums yeah. are hijacking the protests. It's it's really sad. It's really sad. Left to me, I don't think we should. The country should be in mourning. Yeah, national mourning. Mourning. The country should be in national mourning because this is an affront to the people. This is an affront to whatever Nigerian youth stand for. Because again, we might we might say we have won on social media, but have we really won anything? Have we seen this through? What is the point of the lives that have been lost? What is the point of the properties that have been destroyed? Who is going to give them their money back? We put those set with those ones back again. Another fifty, sixty years of pain and suffering in their families, individually and collectively as a nation. It is unacceptable, sis. I don't understand. We should mourn. The government should know that we are in mourning. The government should know that we are angry and we are upset and we are not happy. Even if we are not fighting anymore, they should feel it. People should. There should be strikes. There should be boycotts of government. Those things are important. We can't just take this one laying down and say, "Oh, okay."
They are not going to give it to us. I promise. Shem, we cannot take this, this country by force. It's not by force. I'm not saying by force, but we have you to. You understand? We if we take this country by force, it's called coup d'état. We're waiting in the column. It's not good. It's our protection and asking for a new government. They, they, they took 60 years of their time to destroy Nigeria. I swear to God. My, my brother, three years is not too long for us to repair Nigeria. The problem with what? youth is that we want everything quick action. Nana, nana, kole shele, nana. Emma Jackson, Rawa. Baba la fe she nana okuma asu. She yato o ti jen, o ta o me o ti jen. See what all what last if she cock up, shall not fetch the come at party wo. You don't know that when the belly is hungry, no, your brain cannot even function. Hmm. Why were people cooking and taking food to the uh, to the to the protest ground? Why were we sharing um. drinks? A lot of the people that came to collect food and drinks from us, this that you could see hunger in their eyes. And the reason why they came out there. You understand? To support yeah. us is because they saw food to eat, they saw drinks to drink, they saw music to li listen to, at least they were happy. Am I making myself clear to you? We we're cannot take over this country here. overnight. It is not we're possible. Protect. In America, they, they, they all the powerful kids, places. The military, the police, the, the, the emphasis, the, 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 I mean, the, the political seats. What are we saying? Kira Vedba. Nikia Kia. There is one guy in the land. One more, more. They allow all the destruction to happen. Do you know how many people have lost their jobs? Do you know how many people are suicidal right now that are praying that he could be Jacob Bemilo? I saw a sales representative of uh, one of the shops in uh, in shop right near Circle near Bibai. Tonsuku. They asked her, "Do you own a shop there?" She said, "No." But now she knows that she's going to be out of job. How will she feed her children? Is it that kind of person you want to you want to talk to to come and protest? But 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 if that kind of person that has nothing to lose cannot protest, then what is the point? Just they've taken everything. What else can they take from that us? That is why they the youth have to come us. together and form their own forum, form their own party, form their own thing, and start from now educating the people, learning politics, join politics. And we should stop saying that no 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 what that era is gone. They will we will fund this. But what is the assurance that they're not going to do the same? Remember the last election, soldiers were everywhere. They have a way to control these things. You see, forget about this government. This forget about this government. This government is zero. Zero. No, I'm not saying zero in the government. You got there. And we got to let money up. Me only up, um. No. No. I, oh. On the protest ground, when I went there, I was expecting to see police people, army people guiding them, guiding the peaceful protest. I did not see. I only saw bouncers. Hmm. We all go. What can you do? So now, when it was time for people, because they say, "Okay, oh, eh, wale, oh, okay, wale, oh, ya, eh, cool. hmm. see, How many of them are yeah. we killed for stealing public funds? None, none. Even in, none. In, in the prison, there, how many criminals, how many higher killers, how many assassins are they killed like the way they killed those innocent um, children, those innocent youths? I have lost total hope in this government that we say we have. Me too. Me too. The only hope I have now. As I'm speaking to you, is in the youth. The youth is my only hope for Nigeria. I don't know what we're going to do as a country. Do you call on Daddy Jimmy? Along go, oh man, pay koto da jue, oh my da, oh man pay. What's the point? What's the point? And we're very religious. Thank you.
Word. The Word. youth is our only hope. And the only way we can have the youth take over is by them having a, a structural plan. By them coming together. There are a lot of people in diaspora that are ready to sponsor the youth. All we need is a clear sense of direction. Let that us reform our youth in the ghetto. Let us try and reform the hoodlums on the road. I don't know what to do. I'm the youths are the only hope that we have in Nigeria. The educated ones among us should come together. This is not a time for Aluta Continua because Aluta Continua does not work in Nigeria system. Hmm. This is a time for us to not just do talk, 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 talk like we are doing now. And you to take away dear, but boy, tell me how to You guys should join the political system. Read about your constitutional rights. I say it again. Baki W once stood up. How many of you supported him? People were throwing shades and stones at him. One idiot was mocking his car. Let's stop mocking ourselves. Let's stop. Let us stop saying, ah, eh, let, let, see. So you probably don't want you to leave on social media. Hey, that's true. That's if you're a youth and you don't drive a fancy car or you have money to spray or blah, 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 they don't want to listen to themselves. We have to start listening. Let you do one What you do one knee? I'm, I'm we have all made mistakes, so. I'm exhausted at the energy. Whether we accept it or not, we are all part of the problem in Nigeria. Because we are so afraid. Fear. Fear is a problem. But some youth stood up. Fear is a problem. And said, enough is enough. And we need to stand by it. If they take us up that road, it does not end there. We lose. Is a movement. Mm. So I'm calling on fat, I'm calling on Banky, I'm calling on all the youths out there who are not part of APC and PDP. Please, I have to go. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. To come together and begin to build their own party. To come together and begin to do their own thing. Let the youth make their own mistakes. Some people say 2013 is not far. It is not even enough. 2013, we might not become the president. Oh. But let us make that 2023, we have enough youth in the corridor of power. Let us start learning to support our own. Let us start learning to do politics. They have tried now. They have killed some of the youth. They have tried to install fear in some people. But we are going to all die one day. Death is death. Anyhow it comes. But we are going to be very stupid to get on the road there. As I say, uh, say hey, sir. we have done that now. They have done their worst. Let us go back to the drawing board. And let us begin to build our own tomorrow. We need to have a voice in the corridor of power. 
And we cannot do that if we do not have a plan. We cannot do that if we do not reform the youth. We talk about reforming the police. We need to also start with the youth because most of these hoodlums are youths. Most of these hoodlums on the road are youths. We need to re-strategize. Let us begin to support our own youth. It is well. It is well. It is well. We shall not be tired. We shall not be weary. Hmm. We will unite. We will unite. Hey. We are indeed living in a very crazy time. I am not surprised about what's going on. I really am not. It would be very foolish for me to say that I'm surprised about what's going on. Can you hear me? Yeah, but can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. You know, for over 400 years, the people of God suffered in the hand of Pharaoh for over 400 years, about 430 years. And God had to send them a deliverer because it was high time for God to bring the change. I believe the greatest hoodlums that we have in Nigeria are the politicians. Because who is a woodlum? A woodlum is a person who commits crime, a criminal. So we have a lot of woodlums in suits and ties. They go about every day, we call them your excellency, and you give them a lot of accolades, but they are the real talks. These are the real problems that we have in Nigeria. And hear this, this is what happened to the people of Egypt. For God to deliver the people of God in Egypt, he had to do a mass barrier for some people. The time is coming that the judgment of God will come swiftly upon the nation of Nigeria and those who are perpetrating evil will go for it. Look at what happened in Ghana. What happened in Ghana? Revolution. The reason the government is so afraid was because of the same thing that happened during the time of Tower of Babel. The Bible says the people, they had one voice. They had one voice. And they started building, and God saw that these people, the way they are building the Tower of Babel, they're going to get to him. It caused confusion. That's why the government caused intimidation with God's people. Right here, intimidation. Shooting other people is intimidation. They did not see this coming. They saw unity. 
what they've never experienced before, so they started causing confusion so they can separate the unity in the body. But if we can still continue to have one voice, we can challenge this government. The truth of the matter is, we cannot overcome by just protesting. There must be another level. And that's what you talk about, you reorientating the people on ground. Start with the education for the people, the underdogs, the, the, the people who are, who are less privileged, who think that the only way to get to money is through criminal activities. When we start to educate them, when we start to lecture them about the way to go about life, and they can see life in another dimension, put the money into education, then we'll be ready to face these criminals. Because the truth of the matter is, they are not going to leave power. But then if we can call international body, we stand them firm and call international body to come and monitor the, the vote during the election, we will put them under a lot of stress. When we bring in the international body, we'll be able to, you know, let our voice out and, 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 and have a fair election. Apart from that, it's not going to happen. 60 years of slavery, 60 years, we are still under bondage. 60 years of slavery in our own country. Yeah, but I'm here in America. The, the time is 4.30. I couldn't sleep. 4.30 in the morning. I'm in America living American dream. But the problem is in Nigeria. What is the dream of Nigerian? I've read Nigeria. Is to leave Nigeria. That is the dream of average Nigeria, is to leave Nigeria. Get an airplane and ask Nigerians, how many of you want to go to America? I'm telling you, in one minute, the plane will be filled up. Because we are living in a terrible place. And if these terrible people, if God don't do something about them, I'm telling you, we're still going to have a lot of problems. God must deal with them, all of them. I'm telling you, and write my words down, some of them will start to fall one by one. Because now we are, we are woke. We're not sleeping anymore. Everybody's praying. The Muslims are praying. Christians are praying. I want only Shongo, Shongo, Yago, and Shongo. Here you get. Everybody's doing something right now. We are not going to keep quiet. It is time to continue to speak. Somebody like you, you've got a great platform. You are doing a good job. It doesn't matter what you have, whether you have 20 people, let's continue to talk, let's continue to speak, and let's continue to make this voice so loud. And by so doing, one day, we will come to a place of freedom. It might not happen tomorrow, it might not happen in the next 10 years, but I'm telling you, the blood of the innocent on the ground will not go in vain. The Bible says the blood of Abel spoke up. And I believe also that the blood of the people on the ground, in the ground, we speak up. Many people died for nothing. They couldn't use rubber bullets. They couldn't use water. They couldn't use tear gas. They could no. They had to come and kill people. I saw a woman that said, my only child just got killed. Over 67 years old, the only child got killed. We are living with people who've sold their heart to the devil. The Bible calls them that they have a reprobate mind, a mind of stone, a mind that cannot change. These people already sold their soul to the devil. We should not pray for them to repent because they will never repent. God must take them away. I'm telling you, I'm telling you straight. Yes, I'm a pastor. I have deposited it into their, into their lives. We are not playing anymore. Why did somebody like me leave Nigeria? I left Nigeria because I was looking for a better life. Why should we leave our country? Running up and down, we, we got here being treated like slaves. Because somebody over there is, is a stranger the country. Let me tell you, Nigeria has been mortgaged. Nigeria has been mortgaged. We don't have a country. Don't. That is the, we don't have a country and we are at that place now whereby we are tired everybody's tired this has never happened before what is happening right now has never happened before this is a god move this is not a protest this is a move 
this is a move of the spirit. We better get it. This is not a protest. This is a revolution. And let me tell you, Yabos, they can't stop this one. They can kill us, but they can't shut our mouth. They cannot shut our mouth. We will continue to speak until we see the change. We move. This is barbaric. I couldn't believe it. I have not been able to sleep for the past two days. I've been having bad dreams. Because my heart is red. I'm constantly thinking, what is it that we need to do? These wicked people, Yabo, must go. When they die or they leave power, I don't care what happens, they must go. Period. Because the truth of the matter is, if these people don't leave power, if they are both our Look as well. Look today. As well. I just want to encourage everybody out there, you know, those who don't know what to do. Some people are not that made just right I'm now. so I'm so outraged by their deceit and their lies and their pretense and their evil deeds. Ah. It is sad. It's it's overwhelming. It is sad. It's overwhelming. I could I couldn't believe what the governor said. He said that there was no there was no what? Wake up every morning since on the twentieth thinking that I would just wake up and say, Oh, I've been dreaming, it's all a dream. Okay, it didn't that massacre did not happen. Oh my god. If DJ Switch wasn't there, <laughs> these people said it was photoshopped. Like seriously. No. Did you and the then they allow the hoodlums to destroy properties for 24 hours so that they can pin that down and say that's the reason why we cannot allow any protest. Yeah, it's a way to shut our mouth. It's a way to shut our mouth. But you allowed your unknown military guys to come and kill innocent citizens. But this same military guys, you could not put them out on the street. I mean, when you have coffins, you should have military people everywhere, tankers and everything. Where were they? It is well. It is well. Yeah, but did you see the footage where the police are two guys mm -hmm. and shot them dead and he went to his commander and they shook hands? After mm -hmm. they we they, move. Sh they shook hands. Madness. Madness. We're praying. We're praying for Nigeria. And please, please, people, say, stay safe. Stay safe. Stay safe. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Look at all the, all the uh, <laughs> palliatives that they were supposed to share during COVID-19. I could not believe it. And they said um, they wanted to share it, um, but it was due to the protest. The protest was just 12 what? days or 13 days ago. What? The COVID-19 has been for how long? Are you kidding me? Millions and millions of... Ah. That's the promise. May God help us. But we are no more sleeping, Sha. That's no. one thing. No, we no. are very much awake. Yes, they don't shock us with everything we they do, you know. We are trying to wrap our head around it, get over it, you know. <laughs> but trust me, the youths are not sleeping anymore. Oh, yeah. And they are oh, not yeah. going to be silent anymore. They're going to yeah. keep moving. Yeah. You know, they can try whatever they want to try. But all their gimmicks won't work. They won't work. The old ones just need to go and allow the youth to take over. Here we are. Let's allow the youth to go there and make their own mistakes That's and it. do their own thing. If you, put a, if you put a young man in APC, you put a young man in P, PDP, is it PDP? They will corrupt, they will corrupt him or her. They will corrupt As that well. person. We need a new, a new platform. We need a new you know, a party for them to, to launch out and emerge. You cannot join any party in Nigeria. They are all corrupt. God must clear them out. 
period. All of them must go. Mm -hmm. Buari, I'm saying it. Buari, you might not be saying it. You live in Nigeria. I'm saying it. Let him come get me. Buari must go. Period. It must go. It is well. God bless you, Pastor. Thank Take you care. so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. It is well. It is well, my people. It is well. It is well. It is good. <laughs> they are visiting <laughs> places that you people are allowed to be destroyed. <laughs> oh, Nigeria. Oh, my. Oh. Hello. Yes, I dare to go to Lord Nigeria. You know, are so wow. Hello? Okay, hello, ma. Yeah, how are you? Hello, ma. How are you? I'm, the, I'm good, ma. Aku kini oluwa. God will bless you, ma. Bless you too. I will go to Lord Nigeria, you. Ma? Bless you too. Emi oluwa fi okoropo. Nigeria wa ma da wa ta ashe wa la no la ma jiriye o. I'm listening there. Thank you.